Hi, I'm Kim Orleski. I'm the leading sales coach. Recently, I had somebody say something that I thought was absolutely hilarious. They said, Kim, you use so many dating analogies when you're talking about sales. And I said, of course, sales is dating. It's a two-way communication. It's a relationship that we are creating. We're in this getting to know you phase. We eventually get to proposal stage. And then when we contract with the client, we agree to do something, we're in marriage. Of course, sales is like a dating relationship. And they said, I get it. If sales is dating, that means marketing is flirting. And I thought that was absolutely brilliant. Of course, marketing is flirting. It's like being on a Tinder profile, swiping, swiping, swiping. Oh, that looks interesting. I think I'm going to swipe in the opposite direction. It's like going on an online dating site and seeing, oh, I love that way that person has shown themselves. I love what they've written about themselves. It's like standing at the bar with a wink and an eye. How you doing? If you're only good at flirting and you suck on the dates, you're never going to eventually get to marriage. Joey Tribbiani from Friends was fantastic at this. He would always give the, how you doing? And the girls would giggle, eee! And how many first dates did he go on? And how many marriage proposals did he give? You can't be only good at flirting if you're not also good at dating. Dating is really where we create that communication. We create that two-way street. It's a give and take. We ask more questions. We get more answers. We get to learn about each other. Nobody wants to date you if you're only going to talk about yourself. Well, let me tell you what I did. And let me tell you what I did for that client. And let me tell you how much success we had. And let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you. And the person's like, ah! get me out of here. This is the date that nightmares are made out of. We don't want that. We want to create somebody that we leave them with the worm and fuzzies. Somebody that is swooning after our meeting with them. Somebody who's like, oh, I don't know how we're going to make them fit just yet, but we need to. And then the next person, oh, every meeting keeps getting better and better. And eventually the romantic in me believes that we all get down to marriage proposals. We all get down on our knee and we say, listen, we have been on this amazing journey together and there is still more that we can create together. Will you say yes? Ah. It's not that complicated. We overcomplicate the sales process, but when we think of it closer to the dating process, how did we get our spouse? How did we treat our others when we were dating them? How do we want to be treated? It really takes sales down and makes the mystery completely demystified. If marketing is flirting, yeah, put it out there. Get people to give you the wink in the eye. Get people to tell you that they're interested. But don't be really good at only the flirtation if you have nothing to back it up. Get really good at the dating and the flirtation and the dating will always get you to the marriage. That's it. I want to hear it from you guys. How do you think? What do you think of the whole marketing is flirting and sales is dating relationship? Does that, does that work for you? Is that something that you like? How else would you make that comparison? I want to hear from you. We're going to help you sell more faster by replying to every comment that we receive. I'm Kim Orleski, and I hope one day that you will marry me.